A floodlight is a broad-beamed, high-intensity artificial light. They are often used to illuminate outdoor playing fields while an outdoor sports event is being held during low-light conditions. More focused kinds are often used as a stage lighting instrument in live performances such as concerts and plays. In the top tiers of many professional sports, it is a requirement for stadiums to have floodlights to allow games to be scheduled outside daylight hours. Evening or night matches may suit spectators who have work or other commitment earlier in the day. One motivation for this is television marketing, especially in sports such as gridiron football which rely on TV rights money to finance the sport. Some sports grounds which do not have permanent floodlights installed may make use of portable temporary ones instead. Many larger floodlights see bottom picture will have gantries for bulb changing and maintenance. These will usually be able to accommodate one or two maintenance workers. Types The most common type of floodlight is the metal halide lamp, which emits a bright white light typically 75 to 100 lumens, watt. Sodium vapor lamps are also commonly used for sporting events, as they have a very high lumen to watt ratio typically 80 to 140 lumens, watt, making them a cost-effective choice when certain lux levels must be provided. LED floodlights are bright enough to be used for illumination purposes on large sport fields. The main advantages of LEDs in this application are their lower power consumption, longer life, and instant startup. The lack of a warm-up period reduces game delays after power outages. The first LED lit sports field in the United Kingdom was switched on at Taunton Vale Sports Club on the 6th of September 2014. Topic: <laughs> Polo The first sport to play under floodlights was polo, on 18 July 1878. Ranelagh Club hosted a match in Fulham, London, England against the Hurlingham Club. <laughs> <laughs> Australian rules football In August 1879, two matches of Australian rules football were staged at the Melbourne Cricket Ground under electric lights. The first was between two «scratch» teams composed of military personnel. The following week, two of the city's leading football clubs, rivals Carlton and Melbourne, played another night match. On both occasions, the lights failed to illuminate the whole ground, and the spectators struggled to make sense of the action in the murky conditions. Topic: Cricket. Cricket was first played under floodlights on Monday, the 11th of August 1952, in England. The match was watched by several million people on their television sets. Since then, most test-playing countries have installed floodlights in some or all of their stadiums. Traditional cricket floodlights have a long pole on which lights are fixed. This is done because several times, the ball travels too high when a batsman hits it and high lights are needed to keep the ball in sight. However, many cricket stadiums have different types of floodlights like the ANZ Stadium in Australia. The DSC Cricket Stadium in Dubai recently installed ring of fire system of floodlights which is latest and smartest system of floodlight in the world. Topic association Football Bramall Lane was reportedly the first stadium to host floodlit association football matches, dating as far back as 1878, when there were experimental matches at the Sheffield Stadium during the dark winter afternoons. With no national grid, lights were powered by batteries and dynamos, and were unreliable. Blackburn and Darwin also hosted floodlit matches in 1878. Thames Ironworks, who would later be reformed as West Ham United, played a number of friendly matches under artificial light at their Hermit Road ground during their inaugural season of 1895 to 96. 
These experiments, which included high-profile fixtures against Arsenal and West Bromwich Albion, were set up using engineers and equipment from the Thames Ironworks and Shipbuilding Company. In 1929, the Providence Clamdiggers Football Club hosted the Bethlehem Steel under the rays of powerful floodlights, an innovation in soccer at the Providence Rhode Island Stadium. On 10 May 1933, Sunderland FC played a friendly match in Paris against RC Paris under floodlights. The floodlights were fixed to overhead wires strung above and across the pitch. A fresh white colored ball was introduced after about every 20 minutes and the goalposts were painted yellow. In the 1930s, Herbert Chapman installed lights into the new West Stand at Highbury, but the Football League refused to sanction their use. This situation lasted until the 1950s, when the popularity of floodlit friendlies became such that the league relented. In September 1949 South Liverpool's Holly Park ground hosted the first game in England under permanent floodlights, a friendly against a Nigerian eleven. In 1950, Southampton's stadium, the Dell, became the first ground in England to have permanent floodlighting installed. The first game played under the lights there was on 31 October 1950, in a friendly against Bournemouth and Boscombe Athletic, followed a year later by the first official match under floodlights, a football combination reserve team match against Tottenham Hotspur on 1 October 1951. The first international game under floodlights of an England game at Wembley was 30 November 1955 against Spain, England winning 4–1. The first floodlit football league match took place at Fratton Park, Portsmouth on the 22nd of February 1956 between Portsmouth and Newcastle United. Many clubs have taken their floodlights down and replaced them with new ones along the roof line of the stands. This previously had not been possible as many grounds comprised open terraces and roof lines on covered stands were too low. Elland Road, Old Trafford and Anfield were the first major grounds to do this in the early 1990s. Deepdale, the Galfarm Stadium and the JJB Stadium have since been built with traditional floodlights on pylons. <laughs> <laughs> Rugby league The first rugby league match to be played under floodlights was on 14 December 1932 when Wigan met Leeds in an exhibition match played at White City Stadium in London 8 p.m. kickoff. Leeds won 18–9 in front of a crowd of over 10,000 spectators. The venture was such a success that the owners of the White City ground took over the Wigan Highfield club and moved them to play rugby league games at the ground under floodlights the following season, with most of their matches kicking off on Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. That venture only lasted one season before the club moved back up north. The first floodlit match for rugby league played in the Heartlands was on 31 October 1951 at Odsall Stadium, Bradford when Bradford Northern played New Zealand in front of 29,072. For a club to play in the Super League they must have a ground with floodlights adequate for playing a professional game. See also Light pollution <laughs>